All right, what's up? Uh, we we gonna we gonna teach you how to make a logo here. A couple things we'll need is Photoshop, Intel TextureWorks plugin from just Google. To be honest, I'll link it in the description. What else do we need? We need Notepad plus plus and damn, doing this off memory. Uh, Photoshop. I don't I don't know if I said that already, but oh, and we need Louis File Explorer. All those links will be in the description, hopefully, or I'll link a video that has the link in the description. Y'all understand me. All right. So first thing, we're going to open the uh, file explorer here and we're going to find our 2K23 directory, which if you don't have the folder like pinned here or you don't know where to find it, you open your Steam, go to 2K23, uh, click the little gear icon here, manage, uh, and then browse local files. It'll be right here. All you got to do is click this little top bar here copy that you close it to be honest and then paste it right here click enter and then just select the folder and that will load your uh your file explorer here uh this, since we're teaching you how to extract it from the, the game i think we'll just go with logo zero 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 just this first one right here uh export it to wherever i'm just gonna export it to my videos folder right and now that we got that open the videos folder and it's right here open the file with 7-zip link will be in the description hopefully no no promises here but basically once you if you first getting 7-zip you're gonna click open with and then choose another app you might see it right there but ignore it on the first part and always click choose another app so that you could click this or find it right here click it and click always you want to always open dot iff files with 7-zip right it's that simple and then right here these might look like blank files to you if you don't already have paint.net that link will be in the description and then notepad plus plus so if they if they look blank to you if they just look like regular files all you're gonna do is drag and drop it out into your regular folder right and then you're gonna do the open with choose another app notepad plus plus always right and that's gonna always open your dot texture files so when we have this open all we're gonna want to do is just take these top top lines get rid of them right so now it's just min max mask header size and then binary and binary could really be changed to whatever uh you want it to be so for example i could do just red light best light dot dds right but remember always remember what you have your your binary set to so i'm just gonna copy that and then you could close that you could then drag uh this texture file that you just edited and then drag it into your logo file this this will make it some sort of template since i copied the the binary i could all i could do is just rename it to that and now we have a, a working logo file that doesn't have a set set resolution so you can really make it as big and high quality as you feel like but i think for the example i'm gonna show y'all i think is i'm gonna set it to like we're just gonna uh drag the .dds file if you don't already have intel texture works there'll be a video in the description on how to download it and all that hopefully again hopefully i remember but we just we just want to click okay we got the uh we got the logo here right y'all can see it i know you can see it if you can't see it i don't know what to tell you we I, all i did was go to image and and then image size and then i changed it to 4096 and it'll automatically change the height to match that and now we got this cool right now we could just download a logo from whatever website or google or whatever i'm just gonna get the the highest quality ea sports logo they have here you just save the image here save drag your new oh drag your new file into here resize and make it as big as you want or as small as you want you're gonna want to follow the sizing guide of the logo that you extracted so if this regardless if it's a fucking triangle or whatever you you're gonna want to make it about the same size right we're gonna hide the 76 logo and we're gonna make a new layer with this little box at the bottom right and we're gonna use a paint bucket tool which is g on your keyboard and if it's a gradient you could just right click uh the the tool that you're on and it'll say paint bucket make sure the color is black all you got to do is click there you got it where'd my logo go uh it's still right here you just can't see it because it's black but all we're gonna do now is we're gonna click right control hold control click on the icon of the image not the layer but this icon the little picture that's gonna make you select all your pixels and now once you do that go to your channel tab which is right next to the layers right here click this little box with the circle on it that's gonna make your alpha layer you turn that on keep that turned on we're gonna go to file save a copy or save as it just depends to be honest we're gonna remove the base and the copy so it's just the file name that we exported here save now here's important people keep skipping this like it ain't important a lot of people's game fuck up because they just refuse to change these settings so these are the ideal settings right you got color plus alpha for your texture type compression bc7 fine linear 
That's all you need to see. And then mint maps, you auto generate them. It's that simple. You press okay. And that's going to save your logo. I saved it in the videos tab and it's right here. You, you're just going to drag that into there into your, like your dot if file, or whatever. And now all we do is you copy that, you paste it to whatever active mods folder you got on. And now when we boot up the game, which you don't have to restart your game to load, to update the logo files. There's some files in the game that you got to restart your game, but that's mostly presentation. Y'all don't got to worry about that. At least unless you're doing it, then why are you watching? I'm go to features whatever and my mods folder ain't on that's great but if i go to edit player you see your ea sports logo you have officially made a logo that that's it that's all you need again links will be in the description hopefully all the tools i named in the video i don't remember besides that y'all like the video send this to your mom send this to your girlfriend send this to your boyfriend and yeah i'm out